Okay, so this is where we are going to draw this R25 based on this center point here. Okay, right. So we are going to draw a circle. Again, one profile, one constraint. So this is R25. Right? Is it correct? Um, sorry, on this one. We are on the other side. So this one, eh? we are going to draw this profile here. Okay, this one. Okay, this profile, so this R32. So this is the point here. Okay, so So it's R32. Right. And then we are going to delete, okay, remove this area here. So I'd like to use this and also this line again. So I'm projecting 3D and then I'm drawing a simple line from here to here. And this line and this circle is tangent. Okay. So others, I'll just delete this line, this line, this line, this one, and also this one, and also this one. Okay, right. So we are going to remove this part here. Okay, but I'm seeing it from the other side. Okay, from the front view, much easier. So just to check whether the profile is fully closed, so it is fully closed and everything is green, fully constrained, right? So how much is, what is the depth? So it is 41 minus, um, what's the thickness here? Minus eight, all right? So this one, okay, 41 here, right? Minus eight here, okay? This thickness here, all right, from here to here is eight, from here is eight, so 41 minus eight, so you can put in dimension, so 41 minus eight, so you will get, uh, what is the thickness? This one and this one is uh, 33, eh? Right, so next, okay, we'd like to, Remove this part here. Okay, so I'm looking from the front side. Okay, maybe you want to see some. Um, okay, this is the, um, the hidden lines from the other side. All right, we'd like to remove the R27. Okay, this one. Okay, this part here, R27. So, how to remove this? Right, so again, we have the axis. This is where it changes you to use a lot of the axis. Eh? So this is um, 3 mm. And we have another axis here. From here to here, it is 35. All right, so just bring it up there. Okay, so. Um, we know that R27 okay, is from this line here, okay? So we can draw an arc, okay? So there is snaps here, so something like this. Okay, and again, one profile, one constraint, so this is R27, right? And then, We'll be having, okay, let's say we cut everything out here. Okay, just make it simple. Okay, 
Okay, uh, let's delete this. Put this again. So this is R27. Right. So <clears throat> I just want to blank all this out. So pocket up to last. Okay, so I've got this point here. <clears throat> right. So there's another one. Okay, we are going to remove this part here. Okay, so again, select this surface sketch, right? And then again, draw this 35 construction line here. Okay, and then um, the center line. Okay, the center line there, okay, is from here. Okay, right? So this is where you can put this on wireframe. Okay, so this is where the point will be, will be meeting, eh? right? So I would like to use this as a reference, put on construction line and project 3D element. Okay, and then I will get the point here, right? So this is where the point of R25 is. Okay, so just simply draw a simple profile. One profile, one constraint, 25. Okay, and then we can just blank this out also, right? So what is the thickness? Okay, the thickness there is um, 13. Eh? All right, where do I get 13? This one here. Okay, so it's a bit tricky because you need to somehow uh, look in different um, dimensions. Eh? Right, so just blank this out, dimension 13. Okay, you can preview it, click OK, right, and then you get this part. Right, so what about this part here? How do we delete this? Right, so because you can see you have this surface here, so just select this surface, go to sketch a workbench, and then you really want to remove everything here, so you just select all these profiles, project 3D element, so it is drawn back, right? So it is drawn back, so exit, and then you just simply blank it out through up to last, and then you get this part. Okay, now we are going to draw this part here, okay, diameter 14. So it starts from this surface, go to sketch a workbench, and you can see the offset there. Okay, there's an offset there, so again, draw the construction line. Make sure your construction line is also fully constrained. We have this construction line, this is three. And then we have another one that is 30 mm from here. Sorry. It's not straight, eh? All right, make sure it is vertical. And then we have 30. All right, so we have the center point here. So just simply draw a simple circle. Okay. If you cannot move the, the arrows, eh, of the dimension, sometimes it's hard. So just delete it and then just put it put the dimensions again. So this 14, B14, right? Okay, B14. No, not D14, it's, uh, is it D14? Okay, yes, it's D, no, D14. Yes.